Hello everyone. In today's session, I will explain you a very important part of a curve and surfaces. is called Hermit Cubic Splined Curves, which is known as HCSC. So Hermit Cubic Splined Curves is also a uh, curve generation method, which we have studied earlier in the Bezier curves also. So this is also another method which is followed by the CAD computer aided design. So today we are taking a one example or numerical of Hermit Cubic Splined Curves. So let's see that uh, what this example is. A cubic spline curve has a start point of P0, 16, 0 and end point of P1, 3, 1, right? The tangent vector for the end point is P0 is given by the line joining the end point of P2, 14, 8. Tangent vector is given by the line joining P2 and P1, right? So what they are asking? They are asking determine the parametric equation of hermit cubic spline curves and plot the hermit cubic spline curve so this part is to plot this uh, curve on the graph paper so first let us understand that uh, how this uh, uh, hermit cubic spline curves are working so here is the standard equation for that so the standard equation for hermit cubic spline curves is in front of you this is a very standard format you don't need to alter these values this is the standard values and uh, this is also a standard sequence so multiplying these values we can get a complete equation of hermit cubic spline curves but this equation is in matrix form right so we will follow this equation for our numerical so let's move on further what are the given data so see here starting point given end point given intersecting point is given p0 and p1 so let me uh, draw and give an idea about this that uh, how this uh, whole curve should look like this so simply uh, just take it as a y-axis and let's take it as a x-axis here and uh, let's say that our p0 is here right why because p0 is 16 and 0 so in this direction 16 unit and in y direction 0 so the point should be here right another point is called as a p p1 means end of the curve now it lies between 3 and 1 so in x direction might be uh, let's say 3 here and uh, 1 is the height here so here will be the p1 because it is 3 1 now I'm joining this curve lump sum Okay, I'm not finalizing but this curve should look like this now they are saying that the P0 dash okay this is the tangent at the start point which is intersecting at point P2 so they have in in numerical they have given also point P2 see the here it is 14 and 8 so let's mark where it, it should be let's say it is here it is 14 and 8 that is our P2 so the tangent which is known as a p0 dash it is connecting to p2 so i can say this this is the tangent p0 dash right it is connecting to the p2 similarly they are saying p1 dash tangent at the end point so this is also connecting here so this will be the p1 dash here right so this is the total terminology and this might act as a control point here so this is the start point and this is the end point so now you got an idea that uh, what they are asking so they are asking that uh, uh, general parametric equation for this one and it is very easy so i'll show you that in very simple manner so now first thing you see what they have given they have given this one p0 is given in the numerical p1 is given there and p2 is given there so we need to find this first and this one so now you can see that p0 dash right now p0 dash is where p0 dash is here and now you tell me that p0 dash is between p0 and p2 so what we are doing we are subtracting those values see p2 minus p0 so if i will subtract this value p2's value and p0's value i can get p0 dash simple so see here what i am doing see p2 is here right which is given 14 and 8 so I am writing in the uh, matrix manner 14 and 8 vector method and subtraction okay subtracting with 16 0 so that is the p0 which is 16 and 0 
So 14 minus 16 will get me the minus 2 and 8 minus 0 will get me the 8. So this will be the new coordinates for this which for what P0. So now you tell me that for P1 dash what it should be? Simple. It should be a P2 and P1. So it is in between. So similarly for P1 dash P1 minus P2. So what I am doing? Value of P1. P1's value is 3 and 1. Here is 3 and 1. Subtraction with P2. P2 is 14 and 8. So 14 and 8. So the subtraction will come as, as minus 11 and 7. So this is the coordinate for P1 dash. Right? This was the first step. And now the next step, standard equation. So parametric equation says that P0, P1, P0 dash, P1 dash. And these values, right? So what I'll do, I will replace these values one by one for x y and z coordinate right let us do for first for the first for x coordinate let's see so for for x coordinate what i'll do i'll replace all the x values of all points so here is the x 16 x1 this is x2 this will be the x3 and this will be the x4 so these are these values so i'm replacing those values so you can see that 16 so that is p 0 x is 16 p1's x is 3 p0 dash x is minus 2 you can see p0 dash x is minus 2 and p1 dash x is minus 11 so i am replacing minus 11 here right and the same thing is here now i am just simplifying this matrix right so uh, to simplify this matrix what i need to do i need to multiply this with this one right first 16 multiplied by 2 right so I will I'll tell you that how this 13 came right so for this 13 16 multiplied by 2 right plus 3 multiplied by minus 2 so 3 multiplied by minus 2 plus minus 2 multiplied by 1 so minus 2 multiplied by 1 and plus minus 11 multiplied by 1 so minus 11 multiplied by 1 and by simplifying this i am getting a 13 as a answer here okay you are getting my point so similarly you can do for the another column third and fourth so i have just jotted down this answer so 13 minus 24 minus 2 and 16 and this u cube u square u and 1 is the same as it is now the last stage of forming a parametric equation so here is the parametric equation how it came simply 13 multiplied by u cube minus 24 multiplied by u square minus 2 multiplied by u and 16 multiplied by 1 so you can see it here 13 u cube minus 24 u square minus 2u plus 16 so this will be the x parametric equation similarly for y now i am just doing fast forward so I am replacing the values of P0, P1, P0 dash, P1 dash, Y values of those. So 0, 1, 8, minus 7. And simplifying, I will get this answer. How? That multiplication of this with this, with this one, this one, and this one will give me this equation. So this is equation for the PY, right? So now I got that hence the parametric equations are PX for this, PY for this. And similarly, you can calculate for the z if those z values are given that but right now in our numerical we don't have so you don't need to calculate the z values so finally your answer will be the px u is equal to 13 u cube minus 24 u square minus 2 u which we have obtained here and py is minus u cube 6 u square plus 8 u so these two are the required parametric equations according to this numerical so this is all about the Hermite cubic spline curves and uh, don't forget to memorize and remember this equation. This equation is the standard equation. If you know then you can just easily calculate and I suggest whenever you start the numerical just make a practice to draw this kind of a uh, point diagram on your rough page and then proceed further. So it will not create any kind of confusion to you. Okay till that. Uh, this is all about this uh, Hermite cubic spline curves. In next time, we'll bring something new topic. Till that, goodbye.